Hello everyone, it's the Hobby Dabbler. Today I want to show you a really simple technique to make a background. Um, you don't need anything special, you just need some cling wrap and some acrylic paint. And it makes a really nice background without a lot of effort. So, what you do is you put blobs of paint on your page, wherever you like. Now the more paint you have, the easier it spreads but it also blends more. Whoops. Oh, that one was yucky. Okay. Well, anyway. That's fine. It'll still spread. I just didn't mix it. So put in colors that you like, that you think will blend well. And just keep keep adding until you're content. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a sheet of plastic wrap and I'm just gonna put it on top of everything. So make it big enough to fit your page and try to keep it as wrinkle free as possible. Okay, so now put it down and start smushing your colors around. Kind of blend them together, spread them out. And just keep working them with your fingers. And on the first pass, you're not going to cover the whole page. And that's fine. If you want to leave it like that, that's good too. But I want to do an entire background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift up my plastic wrap. And it still has lots of paint on it. And I'm going to turn it. And I'm going to go and I'm going to start rubbing with the, the paint that's still left on there. And it's kind of awkward in a book because you can't really get into the corners, the crease here. Okay. So keep smushing it around. And then I'm going to turn it again because there's still plenty of paint on there. And keep smushing it around. Okay, so now you can peel it back and see if you're happy with it. That's not too bad. There's still plenty of paint on my on my saran wrap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another paper and I'm going to not waste the paint. So it's kind of like doing a gel print. I'm going to put it down and I'm going to wipe it on so that we don't waste anything. And I can use this to cut out and do collage work on another page. And if there's still paint, there's not much paint left, but there's a little bit, so I'll turn it again. And go at it again. There we go. So it makes a really nice background without a lot of effort. Without a lot of you sitting there blending everything together. And you don't have to use cling wrap. You can use a plastic bag. Say you just have a plastic bag. That works too. Just same way. Put it over top and start going like that. And um, with the plastic bag, 
if you crinkle it up, you can even get some texture going on. So another thing you can do with your cling wrap page is while the paint is still wet, take some gesso on your finger and mix it around with the colors. And it makes a really nice blend. Like you don't want to do it until you get a brown color, but just blend your colors between the colors a bit. And it helps to spread it out a bit and it makes it, I don't know, more cohesive, I guess. I like the way it looks. It, it kind of tones it down a bit, but also spreads it around, if that makes sense. <laughs> so keep going like this with your fingers and spread that color around some more. The, the cling wrap does a pretty good job but I like to spread it even more with my fingers after the fact and it just makes it a little softer. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you try it out and please don't forget to subscribe. Bye!